MHBC family and friends, Pastor Corey here again. And as you can see right behind me are the two rose bushes that are planted right in front of our house. And so last week as I began my devotional, I let you in and reminded you of the, one of the gifts that I don't have, and that is the gift of singing. Well, today I'm going to let you in on another one of the gifts that I don't have, and that is the gift of gardening, which you can probably tell by looking at the the rose bushes behind me and realizing how badly they need to be trimmed or, or pruned. Now, I will acknowledge that I know very little, if anything, about gardening, but the one thing I do know is that trimming and pruning are vitally and are vitally important and necessary. Um, you need to get rid of all of the the overgrown or dead branches or stems um, so that they can you can take those away so that the the the, he the overall health of the plant will be good and so that it can bear much more fruit than it could before. Now for me, this is something that doesn't quite make sense to me. It, it seems like that if I want something to grow, the more the merrier. So why would I get rid of stuff? Why would I prune stuff off when I can just continue to let it grow and continue to let it accumulate? And if these rose bushes get as big as my house, that's going to be great because that's more and that's bigger and outwardly it looks, it looks good. But what we know is this, is that if I don't prune it, if I don't trim it, the more that I let it grow, like that and uh, don't trim off the dead stuff, the stuff that's not useful, it will not, it will not continue to grow, but it will actually continue to decrease and it will continue, it will start to die. It will start to be not as healthy or not as fruitful. And, and what we need to understand is this, is that this is not only the way that God has it set up for plants, this is also the way that God has it set up for those who are followers of him as well. So those who are followers of him need to be pruned in order to grow and bear much fruit. And we see Jesus explaining this very clearly to his disciples in the upper room in John 15, 1 through 2. And this is what Jesus says. I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. And so as we look at these verses, I'm reminded of two things. And so the first thing is this, is that this week I was calling and checking in on one of our church members. And during the midst of our conversation, I was I was telling her that we have a, um, a shed out back. And so I was telling her that we have cleaned that out um, to make a playhouse for our daughters, Addie and Vivi. And she was telling me how during this time she has been going through her house as well and cleaning stuff out. And so we just got in the midst of talking about, you know, how over time it's really easy to accumulate things and not even know it. And then all of a sudden you look at it and you realize, man, I have a lot of stuff and do I really need this? Do I not? And so as we were talking about this, she mentioned something that really struck me and led me to these verses and to the content of this devotional. And, and this is what she said, you know, I had all this stuff stored away, but during this time and going through these things in my house, I am realizing what I truly need and don't need, and what I don't need, I'm getting rid of. How true is this, not only for our homes, but also for our lives as well? As we um, go through things, uh, and when things are quote unquote normal within our lives, and you know, it's the day to day, and there's not really much that is different. As we go through those times, it's really easy for us to begin to accumulate things within our lives, you know, like hobbies and relationships and emotions and hurts and all kinds of things. And, and some of these things we just store away um, in hopes that we never have to, to take care of them again. It's almost like we put them in the, the basement of our lives and just forget about them and, and hope we never have to go back down there. Some of these are good, some of them are bad. But during times like this in our lives, when our quote unquote normalcy and our day to day has been interrupted and taken away is when we often and we often we're not as busy as we usually are. Then we often find ourselves being confronted and coming face to face with those things we've accumulated and tried to store away. And here's what we need to understand is that during these times when we are confronted with those, some of these things we need to allow God to prune away because if left untouched, they will not merely stay in storage, but will eventually come forth 
and begin to negatively affect our overall spiritual health and our ability to bear fruit for God. Here's the second thing. None of us are perfect. And even after God has drawn us to himself and we have experienced salvation and have been justified, made right before him, we are still going to be people who sin are in, and are continuing to be sanctified, continuing to be made more and more like Christ and more and more in his image until one day he calls us home to be with him forever. And in that day, we will be glorified where we will not have to deal with and worry with sin and its effects any longer. And we will be made completely perfect. Therefore, during our time here on earth, God will need to continue to prune the sin and disobedience from each and every one of our lives so that we can bear more fruit for him and for his kingdom. And this is not just for those who are new believers. This is for everyone. Because as the theologian D.A. Carson reminds us, no fruit bearing branch is exempt. No matter how short or how long you have been a Christian, no matter your maturity, maturity level, no matter anything, all who choose to follow Jesus are in need of continual pruning by God. And this is not something that is going to be fun to go through. Oftentimes it is going to be very painful, but it is vitally important and necessary for our overall spiritual health and well-being and our ability to bear fruit for him. As the author of Hebrews reminds us in Hebrews 12, 7 through 11, it is for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? If you are left without discipline, in which all have participated, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. Besides this, who have had earthly fathers who disciplined us and we respected them, Shall we not much more be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time as it seemed best to them. But he disciplines us for our good, that we may share his holiness. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. But later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. So as we meditate throughout the rest of this day on John chapter uh, 15 verses 1 through 2 and this idea of God pruning his followers during this time within our lives when our normalcy and day-to-day -day has been interrupted and taken away may we not just take time to go through our homes and our basements and our storage sheds and look and see what's important and keep that and get rid of what is not but may we truly pray and ask God to use this time to prune us to keep whatever is important and to get rid of whatever is not. So that once this time is over and we get back to some sense of normalcy, we will be healthier and better fruit bearers for him and ready, ready to have a better impact and influence the world around us with his gospel and for his glory. May God do within us and prune from us all that he desires and all that is necessary. And as he does this, May we thank him and may we praise him and may we say and sing, it is well with my soul. MHBC family and friends, know that our staff loves you, we miss you, and know that we are praying for you. And if there's anything that you or someone that you know needs, remember we are just a phone call away. May God continue to bless and provide for you and your family and keep you all safe.